There have been so many changes happening in Bella Vista, Arkansas. Today, we're diving into some of the theories and realistic expectations of what Bella Vista will look like in the very near future. So, let's talk about that. Hey, everybody. If you don't know who I am, my name is Philip Shepard. I'm a local real estate agent located right here in Northwest Arkansas. If you weren't aware, I actually moved from the dumpster fire state, also known as Illinois, the worst, and I could have chose anywhere I wanted to in America to live. I looked at Asheville, I looked at uh, Alabama, I looked at Colorado, Utah, Idaho, Arizona, all the places you might be looking for right now, I have looked there and I chose North Arkansas. It is by far the best place to live in America. So if you ever talk about why I chose North Arkansas versus anywhere else in America, coffee, call me, text me, whatever the case is, we can talk about why I chose here versus anywhere else, like I said, in America. So without further ado, let's jump right into the content. Oh. Right. And the first thing we need to cover when it comes to the future of Bella Vista is just less regulation and easier to build and the actual architectural committee. So a little bit of backstory here. The Wellingtons purchased 2,700 acres of Bella Vista. They also purchased 50 acres of commercial ground for the most part in downtown Bella Vista. They also got the rights of development of Bella Vista. And inside a lot of those little documents I read through hints towards the fact that there's chances that they might dissolve or rework or redo or have huge influence over the architectural committee of Bella Vista. I see all that to say is that what I'm kind of inferring and also assuming here is that the Weltons and Blue Crane Group will be kind of the new ACC at some point. Now, the reason that they're doing this is because they wanna make sure that the ease of construction as well as the ease of building goes smoothly in Bella Vista. We're gonna talk about some other theories here in a little bit, but that is gonna be the forward thinking of the Weltons and Blue Crane is to make it easier to build in Bella Vista. Now, a little bit if you're familiar with Bella Vista and everything, there have been rumors and stories, et cetera, of how sometimes it can be challenging to build in Bella Vista, not because the rules are really stringent, but more of like they're just slow to get permits out the door. There would be a lot more homes being built in Bella Vista if they just move faster, honestly. Now with the new ownership, we'll call it of Bella Vista and the new ownership of the ACC and just kind of permitting process, that might be redone in a lot of ways with Blue Crane to make sure that it, things just go smoother. I assume that's going to happen here sooner or later over the next six months or, or less than a year, for sure. And once Blue Crane gets their hands majority into Bella Vista, I guarantee you that the permitting process for building will, adult will honestly cut in half already even less than that. So just know that uh, homes will be permitted faster and easier in Bella Vista. Now, the reason why this, this is going to happen is because the complexity of some building in Bella Vista will go down the restrictions of like basic home building will stay of course because that's just basic code but they will definitely be more lenient in the sense of some of the rules in place in Bella Vista for instance they may allow black iron fences in certain places they might iron they might change certain things to allow easier construction and more diversity to happen in Bella Vista than necessarily the strict ACC code so keep that as my first prediction and probably realistically it's going to happen in Bella Vista and the second thing we need to talk about the future of Bella Vista, and this is a little bit of a dovetail off the first part, is the fact that Bella Vista will continue and even become more of the affordable place of Northwest Arkansas. So reason being, so a couple of different factors. First of all, the ease of building will be easier because of like the transition happening with the ACC and Blue Crane and all things, first off. Secondly, is that when there's less restrictions, oftentimes the free market kind of takes ownership and then people can build cheaper and build not cheaper in a sense because they, they, they don't have to hold the loans on for so long. They can build faster, more efficiently and better. So those prices should go down. Second thing is that the reason that Blue Crane really is doing this and also the Weltons is really taking ownership of Bella Vista in a lot of ways is because of the fact that it is more challenging to build in Bentonville because land in Bentonville is kind of sparse, honestly and people know Bentonville and so they, they can sell their land for like stupid amount of money because they know what's coming in Bentonville. Centerton uh, has its own thing going on down there, over there. Not super pretty in Centerton, but definitely good housing. The thing with Bella Vista is that there's a lot of land in Bella Vista, that is for sure, a lot of land. And there's a lot of land surrounding 49 that connects to, ben, or to, connects to Bella Vista, so they can also purchase extra land inside there. So it's going to be a long, long, long time before Bella Vista ever gets kind of overpopulated, if ever, because there's a lot of land that's just not buildable. So with all that factors involved, North, or excuse me, uh, Bella Vista will continue to be probably the most affordable place to build a house and buy a house because of just its land mass, plus all the recreation, 
plus all the things that come with Bella Vista. It's an easy pitch, honestly. So I can for sure see that Bella Vista will be that more affordable spot. Plus the fact that if they start allowing like different style housing in Bella Vista, it's a no-brainer. And the third thing we need to talk about when it comes to the future of Bella Vista is that Bella Vista, and I kind of mentioned this before, will continue, well actually I should take this back, probably will take the, honestly, the crown of away from Bentonville in the future about recreation. Now, here with me, obviously, work with me here. Bentonville will always be known as the mountain biking capital of the world, but the extension of Bentonville will be Bella Vista. The thing that's unique about Bella Vista, it'll be, probably take the crown of recreation, is the fact that Bentonville can't have, or won't have lakes, won't have a lot of necessary, a lot of pools. It does, has like, it obviously has Bentonville Community Center, a couple others as well, but they're not going to have golf courses necessarily. They're not going to have, obviously, a huge amount of pickleball courts. Now, Benville has all those things. Don't get me wrong. They have all those different things, recreation center or something, obviously. But the difference is that Bella Vista can just build those because they own so much land. And so they have pickleball courts. They have the golf courses. They have the recreation centers. They have the pools. They have both indoor, outdoor. They have the lakes. They have the beaches. They have the mountain biking trails. They have so many things going for it that it, it's going to be one of those things where, yeah, you can move over to Benville and be the mountain biking capital of the world. But you could just go about five miles north and hit up Bella Vista and have all the different things going on there. So Bella Vista will definitely be taking the the secret crown of recreation away from Bentonville in the next couple of years. Kind of already has because the mountain biking trails are just fantastic there. There's not as many on. The one thing they'll have to figure out is the easy, easy on, easy off spots of Bella Vista. They can solve those things because they own a lot of trail systems out there. Don't get me wrong. Once they solve a lot of those little four things, uh, they'll be just fine. And the first future prediction of Bella Vista is that Bella Vista will be a mini Benville. Because of the fact that it's going to have its own downtown section that's going to be pretty much confirmed, honestly. It's going to have its own, I would assume, shops and commercial spaces, its own parades. It has its own farmer's market eventually. It has its now, but it's just in a weird parking lot. It's going to have its own farmer's market. It's going to have all the things that Benville has just in Bella Vista. Recreation, the whole kit and caboodle will be in Bella Vista. So when people get recruited to walmart jb hunt tyson other mitts and vendors for walmart they're gonna be like okay well maybe ben, you know benville isn't your jam maybe it's a little bit too expensive in some fashion why don't we go over to bella vista very similar vibe and you can drive from this is the pitch you can drive from bella vista to benville if there's things that you don't necessarily always need or that bella vista doesn't offer so that is my prediction i can almost be certain that'll happen in the very next five or three or four years very quickly because that is a project that that Blue Crane slash Weltons slash Bella Vista is going to implement right away. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I jump on to the next point, I made something for you. I made something called three day itineraries. So maybe you're looking to move to the area or maybe looking to just visit the area. I have three day itineraries. So literally day by day, city by city, activity by activity, whether you're into sports, food, culture, arts, activities, whatever the case, even kids, whatever the case is, I have three day itineraries linked down below for you. So go ahead and download them and you can get down here. Also, if you are thinking about moving to the area, I made something called instant home updates. It sounds like what it is, the instant home updates. So maybe you're using things like Realtor.com, Zillow.com, or Redfin. Way too slow. Notifications, way too slow. That's why I made something called instant home updates. All the information below, enter your information below, name, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, where do you want to move to North Arkansas? Enter all the information below and make sure you don't miss a single notification when it comes for homes for sale or for rent all in North Arkansas. Also, every single Friday, I send an email out just kind of talking about all the cool things happening in North Arkansas. Maybe you want to know what's going on in downtown Benville. Maybe you want to know what businesses are living here. Maybe you want to know what's going on in Fayetteville. I was just at Strawberry Fest last uh, last weekend. Great times. Maybe you want to know about all the things happening in North Arkansas. Fresh grass was happening. Bike Fest is happening. All the things you want to know about North Arkansas. Enter your email below. Enter your name below. I'm going to make sure you get that email every single Friday. But just a heads up, you will get a little fear of missing out. A little FOMO, so to speak. But I promise you will be the most important person eventually when you make your way down to North Arkansas. And the fifth and final thing that's going to be happening in the future of Bella Vista, and this is more of a prediction, but I can almost guarantee you it's going to happen is the fact that all of Bella Vista will be Benville schools. I mentioned this in a previous uh, video, but I can pretty much guarantee this is going to happen. Now, like I said in my other video, there might be some wheeling dealing behind the scenes of uh, loss of uh, tax revenue from Gravit's side that they'll have to make up for taking Benville away from that side. Regardless, that will happen because of the fact that they're going to have to build schools and that will be funded through the right channels, if you know what I'm saying. Obviously, 
But regardless, Bella Vista will eventually become all Bentonville schools. That is, I will bank a lot of money on that because the pitch for this whole area is going to be like, oh, Bentonville has amazing schools. I'll go to Bella Vista. Well, you know, at some point, three quarters of Bella Vista can't go to Bentonville schools. That ain't going to fly because as they grow Bella Vista out to the west as part of Gravit School District, yeah, that ain't going to happen. So pretty much all of in the next probably, I'm going to say three years is going to be my guess, three or four years. We can come back to this video in three or four years. Haha. <laughs> But regardless, I can almost guarantee that that all of Bella Vista will be Benville schools. And I'm sure there's going to happen things behind the scenes or in front of the scenes. I don't know. But regardless, it has to be a good pitch to say, come to North Arkansas, get in Benville School District. Centerton already has it. Benville has it. Uh, Bella Vista has part of it. They're going to take the rest of Bella Vista for that and be a big pitch to say, come out to North Arkansas, be part of Walmart culture, be part of Vendor, be part of Tyson, etc. Get in this amazing school district. Oh, by the way, you can't afford a house in Centerton or Bentonville. There's an amazing home over in Bella Vista, great school district. There you go. So that is going to be the pitch, and that's going to be the pitch they're going to aim for 100%. Oh, right. That's all I have for you guys today. Again, if you haven't been down to North Arkansas quite yet, I made something called the NWA Starter Pack. Sounds exactly what it is, literally Starter Pack of all the cool things happening and going on in North Arkansas. Maybe you want to know about all the schools. Maybe you want to know about all the things happening here. There's a hundred page guide, city by city, area by area, population. What are the schools like? What is the medical like? Everything you want to know about North Arkansas literally comes in your package, shipped right to your home, literally right to your home. Enter your information below and make sure you get the package shipped to you right away. But one thing you should be aware of, it does come with your first free mountain bike. That is correct. First free mountain bike. So enter your information below. Make sure to get the package shipped to you right away. And just so you're aware, it is my favorite four-letter F word. Free! So enter your information below. Make sure to get, get the package shipped to you right away. And when you do come down here, I can give you the $10 tour so I can kind of show you around the whole area. Plus, we, we can check out some home for sale or for rent and see how far your dollar would go in North Arkansas compared to where you're coming from. All right, guys. See you next time.